And honestly, there's no such thing as just a Category 1 hurricane. It's not to overhype anything, but even low-tier systems can create huge impacts. So we're driving that point home, as are the officials. And it's not something just to brush off and say, oh, we've been through this before. Because like I said earlier, each storm has unique qualities and outcomes, and you have to keep those in mind and prepare accordingly. So our inland eastern Big Bend counties, I do think that's where you can see more of the wind, although it decreases in terms of intensity. I'd say about 45 to 60 is a fair expectation for some inland areas. Higher winds along the coast, as mentioned, and maybe a peak gust upwards of 75. Rain will be heavy, it will be sustained, and you can have numerous power outages here in the eastern Big Bend towards the Suwannee River. Going into South Central, Central Georgia along and east of I-75, there's a good opportunity for even higher rain tolls. 6 to 12 inches is my forecast for these areas around the Alapa River region. You'll have less wind effect, but maybe some occasional gusts that can be upwards of 60. And with those gusts, you can have some scattered power outages. But my main concern will be rain accumulations, flash flooding, and sustained flooding for many of these areas, especially across some of those marshy areas that are near the Okefenokee. Thomas Leon in Wakulla, you'll also have a case winds. I'm going to be generous, about 35 to 60 miles per hour, gusts to 70. I don't think that's going to be very common, but it is possible with lower rain totals in general, three to six inches, but a few higher amounts are possible. And of course, anytime there's winds and gusts, that can cause some power outages. So scattered to numerous is my expectation. Lighter effects here in the tri-state Lake Seminole region, not as many power outages. You'll still have some soaking rain, but maybe it's certainly not as high as eastern areas, and those gusts will be less frequent going into your Monday as you'll be on the outer periphery of the system. We're not going anywhere this weekend. We're going to stick around, continue to give you updates through all of our digital platforms and here on the air to keep you in the know about the latest on Debbie.